All right, nightly review. We had uh, some buying activity today. And I just started looking at the charts here. And while we had some buying activity, I'm still seeing uh, downtrending charts. So we got GameStop here. This had a uh, pretty big day. And if we look at this green candle here, we came right up to this resistance level at the downtrending Tinkinson line in white here. And here's our red Keatinson line. So interesting how price stopped right there. And then we've got more resistance up here at the uh, top of the cloud. So this thing does some crazy things. You really can't predict where it's going to go. But right now I'm still seeing that the downtrend that it started here at the top is still intact. Um, if we see another bullish candle, uh, we, I need to start seeing bullish candles above this cloud really to... Uh, for an uptrend to be intact. So right now the downtrend is still intact. Um, I'd say tra trading this thing is pretty dangerous right now. Um, unless maybe you go down to a 30 minute chart uh, for a day trade. Well, look at the 30 minute chart. Look where we stopped right here. Downtrending red cloud offers resistance and we're jammed right up in the, that corner right there. Um, I'd be willing to bet this thing's going to sell off tomorrow. Um, we could get above the cloud. Just you don't really can't really predict price direction, but uh, the indicator tends to work pretty well. But at some point, uh, price will break through it. So we can see how price has been respecting the downtrending cloud here for uh, a number of days on the 30-minute chart. So from what I see, the trend is still down. AMC, basically when price trades inside the interior of the cloud like this, means indecision. Price can go either direction now. Um, we need to see price back above the cloud and above this Tinkinson line uh, for an uptrend to remain intact. So... Quite often what happens, see we came down, we bounced near the bottom of the cloud, went back to the top of the cloud and stopped. Um, so we could break out either way. We could break above the cloud or we could break down below. So a, a candlestick below the cloud would be indicate uh, the onset of a moment, momentum sell-off would be likely. Here's a ZOM trade, undecided as well trading inside the interior of the cloud here. Um, I'm in this trade. I was about ready to lose hope on it. This was kind of the last uh, level of support here, the last, last level of good support until we get down in here. Um, the flat bottom of a cloud offers better support than the curvy top of a cloud. It either can work as support. So now we're undecided and price can go either direction. So we need to watch for follow through, um, the shape of this cloud is not all that promising because for price to get above this cloud, it needs to put in a couple more bullish candles. Um, but we, I don't want to see price uh, a daily close below the cloud here. So it's okay if you got a little bit of a candle below the cloud, but we don't want to see is we don't want to see uh, a full candlestick below the cloud. That would be uh, very bearish, and I would uh, probably stop my losses right there. Um, I'm not really into. I took this as a swing trade based on a wedge pattern I saw right here, or a bull flag pattern. The breakout failed. I remained in the trade because of the cloud and the uptrending 50 moving average, and now we're doing this. Uh, so we could go either way now. Tomorrow may be deciding day. We may maybe we'll bounce back down, test the bottom again. Uh, maybe we'll do some more consolidation inside the cloud, and then uh, possibly break out. It'd be easier for price to break out over this way if we consolidate some more. Uh, we'll see. So if you want to trade this, uh, I would wait till we get confirmation of direction here.
sundial. So even though we got a bullish candle on a lot of these charts, I'm noticing the same thing. Even though we got a bullish candle, we're still basically in a downtrend here. This, this is not really a meaningful uh, reversal candle in my eyes. Uh, something, a big, a big bullish candle with a long wick or something could, could tend to indicate a, a reversal, but I'm still seeing downtrending indicators here. Downtrending Kijasen, downtrending Tinkinson, and we're still well below them. So these charts are still looking bearish. CVAT. Uh, I was watching this bull flag pattern here. We kind of broke out of it. And now we're kind of consolidating here. Uh, we got the cloud and the 50 moving average coming in. Um, this could potentially break out. It's already up a lot, so... Um, kind of what we're seeing with a lot of these that have tremendous gains is that, is that they're breaking down. Uh, the market's wanting to take their profits. CCIV, still pretty bearish. Um, I mentioned before, uh, we tend to have a reaction at these moving average lines. So we see we reacted here to the 50 moving average line, but then we failed. So now we've got a downtrending Tinkinson line here to contend with. Bullish candle, but it's still basically a downtrend. Uh, Kijinson line's way up here. It hasn't uh, it hasn't curved down yet. Um, so this potentially could have a pullback. If we can get above the Tinkinson, we could potentially pull back up near this cloud, which is what I was hoping for here. I took a short swing trade. Uh, that I lost because uh, things turned around here. Um, notice how with the cloud, it's it's thin and straight up, so uh, price really doesn't respect this kind of a cloud. Uh, look, well, actually, it tried to here and then it failed. Um, the cloud is just too steep for the price to to respect this cloud and, and want to climb up in here, unless we really get some bullish market uh, sentiment. Fuel cell, bullish candle, but still in a downtrend. RIOT, blockchain, Bitcoin, or cryptocurrency related stock. Once again, bullish candle, but we're lower than this one. So we're still in this downtrend. Now we're on the interior of the candle. Uh, there's no uh, cloud. There's no support from this. This is support right here. Um, so we can get a smaller candle and sit on here and, and potentially work our way out of this. But um, this is looking bearish to me too. Even if we get a little candle tomorrow, we've still got our downtrending indicators that are still above the price. Uh, so that's one thing you want to look for is for prices to get back above these downtrending indicators because uh, these offer downward pressure on price until the price can get above them. Um, Givo, we're starting to break below the cloud. I've been covering this and I mentioned that prices inside the cloud indicates indecision. Price could break out either way. So if price broke out above the cloud, that would be a bullish signal. Now we have price broken out below the cloud. We have a green candle because we closed higher than the previous day's close at the bottom of this red candle. But we stopped right here at the bottom of this cloud. So this is looking quite bearish to me. Uh, we still have uptrending moving averages, but uh, as this continues to melt down, uh, these things will start to flatten out and and cross, we could get some some pretty bare signals going on if this, this keeps going like that. IDEX, I'm seeing the same thing over and over. Bullish candle, but below the top of the others. Still in a bearish trend. RBLX, not enough chart history to really 
give us anything but bullish candles still below the others. Downtrend. PLTR. This chart's kind of interesting because uh, we've got this consolidation range here after the uh, in between this big spike up. This is looking a bit like a head and shoulders top to me. Uh, I drew a support line here. We could go a little lower if we're going to base it off the bottom of these wicks, and then we got our uh, well, the part of the Kijinsen line right here. We're flattened out. Bottom of the flat cloud, or flat bottom of the cloud here. So technically, I could bring this down a little bit more, but it looks like we're potentially going to break below this uh, support range. And I think if uh, we see the full body of a candle below this support range, that would indicate the onset of a momentum sell-off. And I really don't see any support in this uh, this steep uptrend right here. Maybe right in here, uh, price could react some around fifteen, sixteen dollars. Uh, so if we get a bearish candle below this level, I think we could easily drop down to fifteen, sixteen dollars, and uh, ultimately all the way back down here to to uh, ten, eleven dollars. So I think I think this needs to react right here uh, to save itself from falling out of the sky here. Um, then look to encouraging. We got our downtrending indicators coming in here. Downtrending red cloud. So uh, a couple more days of trading action. We'll probably get a resolution of this pattern and get some clarity of direction here. Uh, like I say, anything that's up sharply seems to be selling off. It's uh, these momentum stocks are just getting pummeled. And I actually saw that coming over a month ago. I was a little bit early on it, and uh, I got laughed at. But, I mean, <clears throat> some of these, especially the EV stocks, are up so much. It's just, it was just a bubble, you know, just, just up too much. So, plug power, bullish candle below the others, still a downtrend. I don't see any sort of reversal signal with this candle. We've still got our, we've got our downtrending in indicators coming in. Here's the 200 period moving average. Uh, once we break below that, uh, it's, it just gets worse from there, I think. So I pointed out in other videos, but I look at the long-term trend for this stock and, uh, We've seen these big up moves before, and they can spend. It can take spend the next few years bleeding off. So I wouldn't be trying to buy the dip in this stock, not until we get confirmation of an uptrend. Okay, this is a this is a momentum downtrend. You just you don't mess with this. Uh, there's opportunities to short it. But if you're trying to catch a falling knife or think this is an opportunity to get in, I think you're wrong. Uh, I wouldn't do it until we get confirmation of an uptrend. We need to see price back above a green bullish cloud. And uh, I, I really think this is just the beginning. It's just starting. We're seeing this kind of head and shoulders look to a lot of these, you know. It's not really a pronounced shoulder, and this one's higher, but uh, we just had this big peak, and then we rolled over. Neo. Neo's trying to react to his 200 moving average. Um, head and shoulders type top. Downtrending indicators. Uh, today's bullish candle is insignificant unless we get some follow through. Uh, let's see what else we want to look at. DNN. Not sure how I acquired that one. Some of these I just get from social media groups, people talking about them. Somebody had asked me about this, that they were in it, and 
want to know if they should sell or or hang in there but uh, we had this oversold bounce see we we get oversold and then we bounce because uh, I've mentioned before but the further price gets away from the cloud the more likely you are to be uh, get an oversold bounce so we're heading back down again we're not really <clears throat> far enough from the cloud I don't think to get a good oversold bounce so all of these charts are really telling me that things can sell off us more before we get a meaningful bounce uh, CAN Canon Incorporated this thing is trying to hold on to an uptrend but the, the chart is bearish because we have dropped below our Tinkinson the Keatinson and we're getting a TK cross right here that's uh, <clears throat> that's the first signal in the onset of a of a bearish trend uh, the next thing will be for price to drop below the cloud and this cloud is pretty thin so I'm not too optimistic we're just going to bounce from here and happy-go-lucky all the way back to the top another high momentum stock um, that the market wants to take their profits it's that's the tone of the market right now these things that are up that big you know we went from four dollars to thirty eight dollars so calculate your percentage it's just it's up too much let's see what Tesla did today small bounce little bullish candle doesn't mean anything in this pattern it's just it's all part of the downtrend here BLOK same thing bullish candle but uh, it still fits in with the downtrend starting to break below the 50 moving average and we went into the cloud and, and closed up here so these patterns can take time to work themselves out I wouldn't just I wouldn't get all excited and start piling into things just because we had one green day you know you got to look at your charts you got to take all these things into account uh, so we've we've kind of got a support area right here straw line right there okay I don't really go by the bottom of the wick I'm going to go by the daily candle close so right about here so we did react to that support today and we need to watch that and uh, see if it's going to get us out of this jam but uh, just from the looks of this chart uh, right now it's bearish SOS bearish as well See the cloud this straight up thin cloud didn't mean anything to the price didn't even didn't even bat an eye what cloud I don't see any cloud uh, DraftKings had a pullback this could be a buy opportunity since it's a pretty nice uptrend uh, if we had a couple more days of selling pressure and we can see uh, I don't know I'd, I'd be tempted like maybe put a buy order right down here at what did we got here like 59.50 a buy order right down here near the cloud because uh, you see how we get these wicks intraday uh, run down here and kind of test and then right back up so uh, if you want to snag something like this um, I don't like to chase momentum and I like to try to get the best price I can so if you get a price that's close to this cloud or trend line and for some reason this doesn't hold and this breaks down now then uh, that's just that much less loss that you're locking in if you uh, stop out on the trade and when it if it turns bearish so as long as price can hold above this green cloud we're still bullish <coughs> excuse me genius brands I actually took some profits on this today um, and I, I plan to get back in because I like the company but this big move up here to three dollars 
and uh, I got in after I saw this double bottom at one dollar here and then it uh, it made a nice move here I thought about selling it now uh, and then uh, nice move here well we did it again we've kind of got this sort of double top right here um, I think it's just a short term double top because we have this trend line so I'm going to watch when price comes back down to this trend line and open up another position and uh, possibly keep trading this uh, up and down like that. Uh, or I may just get back in and hold it. I, I usually don't do a whole lot of trading because I'm busy working, but uh, putting in the buy orders uh, can work. So, volatility. <laughs> All this selling and volatility is way down here. This can't be right. Oh, this is S&P 500 VIX short term. So, S&P 500 stocks are actually, let's see. Oh, here's another one I like to watch. I don't think we looked at this one. 